Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and introduce you to week two. So if you scroll down here to the 16th through the 22nd and you open it, it says saber conocer the personal a uh, and direct object pronouns. Um, if you scroll down here, it tells you what to do. You need to look at pages 124 to 127 and 139 to 142. After you do this week's assignment, you should be able to distinguish between the, the difference between the verbs saber and conocer and be able to use them as well as be able to use the personal a uh, and the indirect object pronouns when necessary to plan activities. Everything is due by the 19th, and the student learning outcomes that are being um, met in this particular week of activities are one, two, and six. Um, so just like in the past, you need to look at your instructor videos. So if you go down here to instructor made videos, here are all the lessons. Um, you have a lesson on saber and conocer, the personal a, uh, and direct object pronouns. So after you've looked at each of these videos, um, then you need to go, just like you did last week, to the class participation forum. And I will add a topic um, I failed to have, and you will, actually, I'll do it right now. OK, so when you click on class participation, this is what it'll look like now. Just click on the link class participation and then post here, hit reply and post any questions or concerns you have about the material covered in the video. Um, and then once you have done that, okay, so after you've done that, go back out here. Um, you have your first cultural assignment. Um, your cultural assignment doesn't have anything to do with the personal all or the direct object pronouns or saber and conocer. Um, it has to, like, periodically you'll be assessed um, or introduced to various cultural aspects of the Spanish-speaking world. This one's on Guatemala, so you'll just open this up. There are links to various videos that go over the culture of Guatemala, and then when you're done watching them, you'll hit um, Attempt Quiz Now. You only get one, op you only get one opportunity, um, and you'll just go through and answer. I think most of these are true-false. There's a couple of short answer. Um, the computer will, or Moodle, will correctly grade your uh, true-false questions. So when it comes to the short answers, um, it probably will get them wrong. You have to, um, you have to have it worded exactly the way that I would have it worded, and that's almost impossible to do. So just remember that your quiz grade may be a little lower um, than you think it should be. I have to go through and manually grade those short answers and I won't do that and I won't start doing that until the Friday after everything is due um, but be patient with me I think I have a cultural assignment coming in from every class and I have six of them so I may get to yours on that Friday the 20th but it may be sometime the following week before I actually get all of them graded um, okay so if we go back out after having done that so you do the cultural assignment um, you actually have a test one in my language labs, and then you have an assignment five where you have various activities to complete in my language labs. Okay, so we, if, if you click on this link, that will take you out there, but I already have it up. So you'll just go to the 19th when your next assignments are due. It'll pop up in the middle. Um, and so you'll want to check here. Um, tells you 413, 415, 418. So you can see those activities. Just remember to check because there'll be extra stuff that you don't have to complete, but that you can if you want to. Um, and then you get down to the test. Um, you only have one, uh, um, one chance at the test, so you just open it up when you're ready. And it will go through, and it's testing you on the first part of chapters on Chapter 4. So you've got a listening activity. Um, it just goes through, and it's talking about family vocabulary, um, some of the irregular verbs, you're filling in blanks with them. Um, then you're conjugating your irregular verbs. Those are all stem-changing verbs. Um, then you've got a little reading comprehension activity, and that's the whole thing. And then you hit finish and submit for grading when you're done. Okay, um, and so that's everything for this week.